few days ago on our telegram channel we did a voting so out of 25 votes 68% chose betem so i have tried and i got this error i thought that is a problem with library so i replaced library with another version and tried it again then again got same error then i wanted to implement it through javascript so i asked one of my indian friends for his paytm account i really i'm really thankful bro and then when i logged in and clicked on javascript uh, to generate the code page was blank it was not generating because for that you need a verified merchant account so eventually long story short is that at the moment it is not possible to implement paytm gateway in sketchware well our second choice was gpay so i went to google searched for gpay but it is documentation was complicated so i thought it is not a good idea because upi is easy so i chose upi and here it is our simple and easy project it calls upi payment apps through an intent i am not in india so i don't have a upi payment app i have paytm installed in but it is not original version it is the test version uh, so maybe it is not accepting that's the reason uh, well this is our app we have four edit text is here to enter text input and then we have uh, this button on clicking this button we are calling a more block and this is our more block so we are building a uri and passing it through the intent and creating a intent with chooser pay with and then i am creating one more block inside it place a asd close the curly brace then copy those two blocks of code paste them inside a more block uh, inside a asd in our more block then uh, open the curly brace okay so currently we don't have any method how do we will know if payment was successful or unsuccessful so we will copy this on activity result block and uh, go to a text editor 
go to dot sketcher slash my sc slash your project number and then there open your activity which does the payment inside it find that uh, block on activity result remove it and replace it with new which we just copied i don't use sketcher pros built-in source code editor because uh, for me it is not working fine sometimes it just grabs an older code and keeps placing it instead of grabbing the latest compiled code so i'm using this simple method using a text editor after replacing the code which you want to prepare it for saving go to sketchware pro click on run go back to text editor now keep saving it multiple times until you feel like uh, now maybe sketchware pro has compiled the app go back to sketchware pro and see if it does if there are any errors eliminate them okay we need to declare a uh, variable so we will declare it here and here i have hard coded it so now i will use that variable After making these new changes, run your app so it generates new code and then again open it in a text editor. And replace on activity result block. then do the same method run the app save it save it save it save it until it compiles oh so we have errors here After having these errors, I have tried too many times and then finally decided to use a built-in source code editor of Sketchware Pro. and copy only if and else statement instead of whole on activity result block so i copied it pasted it there
and added dashes which Sketchware by originally uses. Ah, so I forgot to add a dash there. I will add it. This part is most toughest part of this tutorial. Adding on activity result is really hard job. I wish Sketcher Pro had a feature for this also. So finally adding dashes to all variables to match those variable names and this was the payment method for upi i'm i don't have any app to check it so I am not sure that it works but I think it will work or at least it will give you an idea how to do it. So I am sharing it with you. You can get that uh, code for on activity result in description and you can get this project from Jokyo Sketch Projects app. See you in next video. Till then bye bye take care and Allah Hafiz.